Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Ashley and today I have some weekly laundry motivation for you. I'm starting off with the older two boys clothes, so Jacob and Jeremiah's laundry. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of their dirty clothes in the washer, get them all washed and clean, and once they are done washing, I will transfer them into the dryer and get them dried. And as always, there's a few pieces of clothing that I'm going to hang dry for them, mainly Jacob's sweatpants, just because I do not want them to shrink in the dryer because it has been so hard to find some pants that can fit him in the waist and in the length because he is growing like crazy here lately. But this is, like I said, day one of some laundry motivation. It took me only two days to accomplish nine loads of laundry, so I'm very proud of myself. I got all of our clothes washed for the week, as well as washing all of our bedding throughout the house. So I got all of our sheets and blankets and pillows and everything washed also. And it only took me two days to accomplish everything and if you've been around for a while, you know that that does not happen very often. So I was pretty proud that I was able to get all of this laundry knocked out in just two days. But now that Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes are done washing, I'm just throwing everything in the dryer that needs to be dried. And then, like I said earlier, there's a few pieces that I'm going to hang dry. I realized that I forgot to throw the dryer balls in the dryer, so I wanted to do that really quick. And then I just hung up everything that I was going to hang dry of theirs, which is just a few sweatpants as well as two sweatshirts and then a few shirts of Jeremiah's that he does not want me to dry. And now we're on low two for the day, which is mine and Nick's clothes. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of our clothes in the washer, get them washed and clean while Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes are drying. Once Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes are done drying, I'm just going to fold them while I'm taking them out of the dryer, and then I'm going to place that basket in their room for them to put away all of their laundry. It just saves me some time, and like I said, it's just easier sometimes just to sit here, fold it while it's coming out of the dryer, because if I don't, then that basket would just sit there for a few days and I would not get around to it. So I just wanted to go ahead and just take the time while I had it and fold everything and then I'm going to place this basket in their room and when they get home from school they will put away all of their laundry for me. But if you have some laundry that you need to tackle today why don't you go ahead and grab that load and let's get to washing, drying, and folding together. There's no better way to tackle some laundry than tackling it with a friend and I really hope to be that friend for you today. And if you don't have any laundry that you need to get done and you have something on your to-do list that you would like to check off, grab that to-do list and hopefully I'm able to give you some motivation to get whatever's on that to-do list checked off also. If I'm able to do that, please let me know by liking this video. It really does help my channel out. And you can leave me a comment letting me know if you were able to get some laundry done or if you were able to get something else on your to-do list checked off. Or maybe you're just watching and hanging out with me. I would love to hear down below in the comments. Mm -hmm. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can
drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. So now I'm finishing up day one by taking all of Madison's laundry out of the dryer and putting it in a laundry basket. I'm going to place that basket in her room for her to fold and put away. And then that's going to be it for day one. So I was able to wash Jacob and Jeremiah's laundry, Madison's laundry, and mine and Nick's laundry. And then I've already folded the boys' clothes. They're putting it away for me. And then she'll fold and put away her clothes. And you'll see me fold mine and Nick's clothes on day two, which is right now. We're starting off bright and early on day two. This is before the kids even go to school. I'm starting off by throwing the load of towels in the washer to get them all washed and clean. Um, I'm using my laundry detergent, my scented beads, and then the um, Lysol sanitizer as well. Because I love to use Lysol sanitizer on our towels, our bedding, or anytime we're sick. And now that the towels are done washing, I'm home from taking the kids to school and everything. I'm going to go ahead and transfer them into the dryer to get them all dried. And then I will start throwing in um, Ryder's clothes and getting his clothes washed. So that will be the second load that I'm going to be washing on day two. So I wanted to just go ahead and knock out all of my main loads that I do every single week, which is mine and Nick's clothes, Jacob and Jeremiah's laundry, Madison's laundry, Ryder's laundry, as well as towels. I wanted to go ahead and just get all of them washed and clean before I focused on anything else in case I was not able to accomplish everything. I knew that all of our laundry needed to be washed and clean. So that was like my top priority. So that's what I did. And, um, once I am done washing all of our main clothes and the towels and everything, I'm going to move on to all of the bedding in our house. And the first set of bedding that I'm going to wash will be mine and Nick's clothes. So I'm going to throw mine and Nick's sheets and blankets in the washer and get them all washed and clean since the towels are done drying at this point and Ryder's clothes are done washing. I'm curious to how often you wash your bedding and blankets and everything for your beds. So definitely leave a comment down below letting me know how often you wash them. I typically wash ours every month. So like once a month or like every three weeks or so. Um, of course, if we're sick, I wash them then and then I wash them when we're getting better and everything. But I would love to know how often you just wash your sheets if you're not sick or anything. And it's just like a normal month. Do you wash them every week, every like two weeks or at once a month? 
like I said, I typically do every like three weeks or so, like once a month. So definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know how often you wash your bedding and blankets and everything. to the car on a Friday night I wanna drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours So I just finished folding all the towels and putting them away and then I transferred over some laundry so mine and Nick's bedding was done washing so I threw it in the dryer to get it dried and then I started another load of laundry which was Jacob's bedding. I wanted to go ahead and throw his bedding in the washer and start on that and getting it all washed and clean. And while his bedding's washing and mine and Nick's bedding is drying, I'm going to go ahead and fold all of Ryder's clothes and put all of his clothes away. So that way that laundry basket is empty and it's checked off and I don't have to worry about it just sitting there for a few days and not being put away. Because we all know if you've been around for a while, I am the world's worst at leaving laundry just sitting in baskets waiting to be folded and put away. I would love to know if you are the same way. So definitely leave a comment down below letting me know that I am not alone in this situation. But um, sometimes that's just the way it is. Sometimes life gets busy and it just sits in the laundry basket. And sometimes we grab out of that laundry basket until there's just a few pieces left. So then it's very easy and simple to fold and put away. And sometimes I just try to get it all done in one day and just fold everything and put it away. It really doesn't take a lot of time either if I just do it and focus on doing it. But it's just something about folding the laundry and putting it away. I feel like it's going to take forever so I just leave it in the laundry basket. But then once I am done doing it, I'm like, goodness, I could have done that yesterday and would have got it done and over with in no time. But I would love to know if you're the same way. So definitely leave a comment down below. If you are the same way like me or if you're not and you just like to the moment it comes out of the dryer you fold it and put it away or if you are like me and you just let it sit there for a few days sometimes. 
But now it's time to wash all of Madison's bedding and her blankets and her squishmallow and everything. So that's what I'm throwing in the washer right now to get it all washed while Jacob's bedding is drying. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. So I just finished washing and drying all of our bedding and putting everything back on everyone's beds and then I'm finishing up by folding and putting away all of my Linux clothes from the previous day. So that's how I'm finishing day two of laundry motivation. It's just hanging up all of our shirts and folding all of our clothes and then putting everything away. And that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and I hope I was able to give you some motivation to get up and get some laundry done or get some cleaning done, whatever it needed, whatever you needed to get done. I hope I was able to give you the motivation to get it done. If I was able to do that, please let me know by liking this video and definitely leave me a comment down below. I love chatting and getting to know each and every one of you. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. It truly does mean the world. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I hope you guys all have an amazing week and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye friends. I almost can't believe it. Every time we touch, I feel